Okay, today we are looking at what I call meme stocks. I'm start with the song. Hallelujah. Anyhow, don't let an old man bore you down. Bore you down. When that old man comes your way, lift your hands and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay, I want to start with prophecies, uh, March 29, 2024. And be very careful in terms of your financial dealings. And because you can actually land in prison, I think uh, yesterday's news, I saw a crypto guy being sent to prison. So be on the lookout. And the second prophecy is that war and conflict is actually finding their way to the home front. So you need to pray into this and pray against this. But of course, meme stock is about when, you know, stock that, you know, people trade on based on hopes and dreams, you know, uh, and basically appeals to dubious belief or gambling impulse, particularly of those that are, those that are new investors. And so they can actually be taken advantage of. Uh, but this also happens even in Christendom. Second Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. In order that Satan should not outbeat, outbeat us, for we are not unaware of his schemes. Maybe to give a bit of context, you know, someone in the church was into open sin and he had to be rebuked and suspended. You know, uh, but, you know, part of the concern that Paul had was that he needed to be brought back in so that, you know, Satan would not take advantage. So even when the church, you know, administer discipline, you know. In fact, a lot of a lot of the things that the church will do can actually be taken advantage of by Satan. You know, um, if you if you administer discipline, people can actually uh, make a shipwreck of their faith. So they still need to be drawn in with love. If you also become too liberal, people now feel it as a license to commit sin. So we need to be always on the lookout. You know, whether it's old believers or new believers or even church leadership, because Satan is always looking for ways of taking advantage. And so we need to, you know, make sure that the enemy does not outbeat us in any way. You know, anything that is going to, you know, make the enemy take any kind of advantage or leave people away from the faith, we need to nip it in the blood so that people can remain in the faith, you know, and enjoy their work with God.